for the most part, Kerry Kittles has stayed away from basketball since he retired from the NBA in 2005. It's been over 20 years since he shattered nearly every record as a player at Villanova. But when the 42-year-old joined Mitch Henderson's coaching staff this past summer and stepped on campus at Princeton, it all felt familiar. It's bringing me back to those years when I was 22 and, you know, junior and senior in college and, and how I'm being pulled in so many, so many different directions with, you know, being a kid in school, taking care of my classwork and, you know, what's my future going to be like once I leave school and then, you know, my obligations as far as being a team player. He was a terrific scorer. It felt like he was on the floor all the time. Um, you know, in, a, in an era when nobody could really beat Syracuse, you know, he was kind of a Syracuse killer. A two-time All-American at Villanova, Kittles was the Big East Player of the Year in 1995 after leading the Wildcats to their first ever Big East Tournament Championship. At Villanova, he set 15 school records, and two decades later, he remains the Wildcats' all-time leading scorer with over 22 200 career points. After helping Villanova reach the NCAA tournament twice, the NBA came calling. With the eighth pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the New Jersey Nets select Kerry Kittles from Villanova University. More like your John Calipari, you gotta like what you hear in your own arena right here. Fans seem to like that one. The New Orleans native spent nine seasons in the NBA, playing over 500 games and averaging better than 14 points per contest. Now, a decade after his playing days came to an end, Kittles felt the timing was right to begin the next phase of his basketball career. A lot of it had to do with timing in my family at home. Uh, you know, five kids at home and you know, they're all in school right now full time, so it's um, the timing kind of works with me, kind of being away and, and getting involved in something full time. And so that, that was one of the main factors. And uh, the, other, the other thing was just not leaving home and, and taking a job or looking for an opportunity that, was, that would drag me totally out of the house and maybe out of the whole state of New Jersey. So I kind of wanted to stay close and, and be involved as a dad and be a family guy, but also branch out and, 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 and kind of scratch that itch that had been uh, kind of bothering me for the last couple of years as far as coaching. Kittles on the drive and the two-handed dunk. In that era, there were a couple players that ever, when, when they were playing, you watched them play. And Kittles, Iverson, Ray Allen, Tim Duncan. Some of the recruits that we are recruiting, they're not, they don't always know who he is at first, but their parents know. Nets have numbers, Kittles, Vaughn's kid, who lays it in? He still looks like he can play. You know, I have to beg him to, to shoot around a little bit, but once he does, you know, it's like, you know, for him, it's like riding a bike. The shot looks beautiful. I really don't play that much. Uh, you know, like, I, I definitely don't play one-on-one -on -one or pick up. Uh, that's totally out of the question. But when he starts to spread himself out defensively, he's kind of showing guys what he wants things to look like, you, you know, you kind of, you start to see the long arms and you see the way he kind of approached the game. And while this is Kittle's first venture into coaching, Henderson says he's a natural teacher. Kerry played first on a really good college team where he was the best player. Um, but he was really, he talks about his teammates all the time. Secondly, he played in the NBA on some really good teams. Um, but the teams that went to the finals was really a team, those Nets teams. So what comes across to our guys is the fact that he's really focused on team. It's, it's just teaching. It's just teaching. It's just trying to get in their heads a little bit. It's, uh, you know, a lot of it at this level is, is the mental side of it. It's, it's, it's what you're seeing out there, you know, as the action is taking place. You know, I tell everyone, hey, listen, basketball is not golf. You don't have eight or 10 minutes in between each shot. It's, it's, it's a reaction sport. So you gotta be thinking it fast. You gotta be trying to see what's going on before it actually takes place. So I'm, as a coach, I'm just trying to help them see things before they develop and just say, try to make it a little bit easier for them. We know him as a great player at Villanova, you know, one of the top players coming out of his class. We know him as a nine-year NBA vet, two-time NBA finals, but there's so much more to it, right? He's a family man, he's a husband, he's a father. He went back and got his MBA at Villanova. We went to a class not long ago together here and um, he came out of it and was just like, you could tell that the, the wheels were turning fast and he's, a, he's taking in and engaging in all the different parts of campus. But most importantly, he's giving himself over to our guys. For GoPrincetonTigers.com, I'm Cody Cruciel.